assalamu alaikum dear students how are you all i hope you all will be fine i am your teacher amrish this video lesson is for grade 8 from their chapter number 5 polynomial our today's topic is constants variables literals and algebraic expressions first of all what is constant a symbol that has a fixed numerical value or a digit value is called a constant for example in 5x plus 1 5 and 1 are constant variables variable is a symbol usually a letter that is used to represent a quantity that may have an infinite number of values are also called unknown for example in x square plus y plus 3z x y and z are variables and we can also say them as unknown because we don't know their values literals the alphabet that are used to represent constants or coefficients are called literals for example in a x square plus b x plus c a b and c are the literals whereas x is variable algebraic expression an algebraic expression which connects variable and constant by algebraic operations of addition or subtraction or multiplication or division and is called an algebraic expression a few algebraic expressions are given below in example number 1 it is 14 it is a constant term in example number 2 x plus 2y it is an algebraic expression in which x and y are the variables and 2 is a constant or we can say it as coefficient number 3 4x minus y plus 5 in this example our x and y are the variables or unknown and 4 and 5 are the constant and in number 4 minus 2 upon x plus y in this example x and y are the variables and minus 2 is a constant in the example number 5 3y plus 7z minus z upon 7 our y and z are the unknown or variables and 3 and 7 are the constant now we are moving to the polynomial a polynomial expression or simply a polynomial is an algebraic expression consisting of two or more terms in each of which the exponent of a variable is zero or a positive number integer or number keep in your mind that if the polynomial uh, if a uh, exponent has a negative value then it will not be a polynomial for example 13 minus x 5x plus 3y x square minus 3x plus 1 in all these example you are observing that the variables have positive exponent in the first one minus x the exponent is 1 5x exponent is 1 3y exponent is 1 x square exponent is 2 minus 3x our exponent is 1 so they all are polynomials okay the following algebraic expressions are not polynomials now uh, as i told you that if the exponent is 0 or positive then it is a polynomial and if it is a negative number then it is not a polynomial so examples are given x has a power minus 2 so it is a negative uh, exponent similarly 1 upon y uh, you are observing that y is positive but when you will take it in the numerator it becomes minus 1 so it is also not a polynomial then x uh, cube minus x has a power minus 3 again a negative exponent so it is not a polynomial similarly x square plus y minus 4 minus 7 and x upon y plus y 5x 
so in the in the last example again your y is in the denominator when you will take it uh, to the uh, numerator it become minus 1 now we are moving to the degree of polynomial degree of a polynomial is a degree of the highest degree of a part or a term in a polynomial degree of a term in a polynomial is the sum of the exponent on the variables in a single term the degree of 2 x cube by 4 is 7 because it is a single term in which x has a power 3 and y has a power 4 when we will add the exponent 3 and 4 it becomes 7 so the degree of this term or this polynomial will be 7 coefficient of a polynomial in the term the number multiplied by the variable is a coefficient of the variable for example in 4x plus 6y 4 is a coefficient of x because it is multiplying with x and 6 is a coefficient of y because 6 is multiplying with the y okay recognition of polynomial in one two or more variable polynomial in one variable consider the following polynomial uh, x has in power 4 plus 4 as you are observing there is only one unknown or a variable that is x so it is a polynomial with single variable or one variable okay in example number 2 x square minus x plus 1 again you are observing that you have only x as a variable okay in the third example y cube plus y square minus y plus 1 in this uh, the variable is y a single variable similarly in the fourth example y square minus y plus 8 in the polynomial 1 and 2 x is a variable and in the polynomial 3 and 4 y is a variable so these all are the polynomial with one variable now polynomial in the two variables consider the following polynomial x square plus y plus 2 as you are observing that x and y two variables are involving so we are saying this is a polynomial with two variables similarly x square y plus x y plus 6 in this uh, example again the two variables are involving that are x and y in the third example x square z plus x z plus z in in these x and z these are the two unknown or variables which are involving and in the fourth example x square z plus 8 again the two variables are involving that are x and z okay now moving uh, uh, that he is uh, explaining in the polynomial 1 and 2 x y are the variable and in the polynomial 3 and 4 x and z are the variable and all these polynomials are the variable uh, with the two variables polynomial in more variable if you have more than two variables then simply you will say that the polynomial with more variables for example x square y and z plus x y square z plus x y plus 7 in this uh, expression you are observing that three variables are involving that are x y and z so it is a polynomial with three variables x y and z now we are moving to the degree of the polynomial that how we can uh, name them for example if the degree of a variable is one the highest power then we will say it as linear so the first one is a linear polynomial consider the following uh, polynomials x plus 2 uh, second one is x third one is x plus 2y and the fourth one is x plus z so you are uh, you are observing that in all the examples the uh, exponent of the variable is 1 so we will say them as linear polynomials okay then moving to the next the quadratic polynomials let us uh, write a few polynomials that have the highest exponent or the sum of the exponent is always 2 x square so you are observing the exponent is 2 the highest exponent or degree so we will say it as quadratic polynomial then x square minus 3 again the highest 
exponent or the degree is 2 so it is quadrating and x y plus 1 in this two variables are involving x and y both have the exponent 1 and 1 when we will add them 1 plus 1 it becomes 2 so again it is a quadratic polynomial in the first two polynomial x is a variable and its degree is 2 in the third polynomial x and y are the variables and the sum of these exponent is 2 so its degree is also 2 and we will call it as quadratic polynomial okay then cubic as from the name you can easily identify the power should be or the exponent should be equal to 3 consider the following polynomial 5x cube plus x square minus 4x plus 1 in this the highest exponent or the degree of the polynomial is 3 so it is a cubic polynomial similarly in the second example x square y plus x y square plus y minus z so you are observing that x square and y when you are adding uh, the two exponents 2 plus 1 it becomes 3 similarly in the second term x has an exponent 1 and y has 2 1 plus 2 again 3 so the highest exponent or the degree of the polynomial is 3 and we will call it as cubic polynomial and the last one is the biquadratic polynomial biquadratic means exponent should be equal to 4 so x has an power 4 plus x cube y plus x square y square plus y cube minus 1 so we are observing over here in one term that is x4 the highest power is 4 in the second one x3 plus x3 y when we will plus the exponent 3 and 1 it becomes 4 and in the third term x square y square when we will add the two terms uh, exponent that is 2 plus 2 it again becomes 4 so the highest degree is 4 it will called as um, it will be called as biquadratic polynomial and in the second example x4 plus y3 minus y2 minus y plus 8 the in the first term the degree is uh, the exponent is 4 in the second term the exponent is 3 third uh, the exponent is 2 and in the fourth one the exponent is 1 but the highest exponent is 4 so the degree of that polynomial is 4 and we will call it as biquadratic polynomial and uh, this is the end of the lesson and I hope you will understand all these things nicely. Thank you.